you, beautiful yogi friends. My name is Dr. Hirsch. I guide you through this tree yoga sequence, which I love after running or hiking because it opens beautifully our hips. And as we know, the hips are the gateways from the legs up into the spine so that the earth energy can really go up into our body. Earth energy meaning stability, trust, strength, physical health, so we can face day to day, centered, open hearted, well ground. Let's start in standing with the feet hip width apart so you have one foot in between. Lengthen your waistlands up, open your chest and Feel the natural curves in your back. Reach out with the crown of the head into the space above you. With the long, even breath, close your eyes and bring all the awareness, all the focus for now just on the breath. Complete breath, filling lower, middle, upper lungs. Inhaling to your comfortable maximum. Exhale all the way out until you feel you are fully empty out. Your longest, finest, even flowing breath. To allow this practice to become a meditation in flow, we want to have and maintain that awareness on the breath. Remember, every moment counts, every breath counts. Every transition comes and every alignment comes. With that complete breath, at the sound of Ucha Yi. Invite yourself to be relaxed and joyful in yourself. And at the short end of your mat, inhaling upward salute, lift your arms over the side, up. Exhaling, earth touch, bend your knees, groins back, hinge forward from the hips. Inhaling, monkey lengthen from the base. Ex mountain, bend your knees, lean forward, light jump or walk back into mountain lift. Relaxing vertebra by vertebra into mountain. Allow the five uchai breath to continue. Inhaling here. Ex right side spot. Press your left heel down. Curl your chin in with the round spine. Come forward. Drop both knees at the same time. Inhaling, lengthen from the base. Ex mountain, keep your spine lifted, including your neck and hands, and your sit bones back. Through mountain lift, where your chest and head is lifted, relax vertebra by vertebra into mountain. Ex left side small, push your right heel back. Bring your left knee to your left hand, drop both knees, lengthen from the base. Sway back, mountain lift. Set the sit bones high up with far back. Relax vertebra by vertebra. Let's repeat. X right side, bringing the knee forward. In lengthen into squat. X mountain lift. Lowering into mountain inhale. X left knee comes forward. In lengthen from the base. 
Ex-mountain lift. In mountain. Repeat each side once more. Beautifully feel how you stretch in opposite direction. Lengthening vertebra by vertebra from the base to the crown. And stepping back. Keeping the length in the spine. Relaxing. Next time in your right side swan, stay there. You might want to have your blocks. You go right side extended mountain. So you go back into mountain lift. And then while your spine lowers, your leg lifts like a seesaw. And then super charge that back legs are really straight. Have both waistlines even long, lengthen your left waistline, your left hips up to the ceiling. Let your head be relaxed, your hands push forward, find Ucha breath. How relaxed and joyful can you be? Inhale, ex, lower the leg, round your spine, step forward and through, right side runner. Drop your back knee in length from the base. Have your blocks back. Exhaling, extended leg stretch. Stretch back. Pull your toes towards you. And with the relaxed spine, come forward. Lengthen from the base. So first movement is the hips moving back. The chest stretching forward. If that seems to allow a little bit more movement, feel when your hips go back and your chest comes forward, whether you can forward bend at the same time. If your forward bending is not allowing it, of course you just stay with the first version. Let's add runner's lift. So when you're back, an extended leg stretch. Come forward into runner. Draw the lower belly in and move away with your belly from the thigh and then lengthen your spine. And from here, hinge forward from the hips. Stretch your spine forward, relax your spine. X, come forward and the knee is above the ankle, draw the lower belly in, the knee lengthen from the back. X, hinge forward, stretch forward, relax your spine, inhale. X, come forward, in, lengthen. Last round, dynamic, X, forward. In lengthen and then stay in runner's lift. Feel your knee pushing forward and the knee being over the ankle. Your hips square to the short end of the mat. And the back knee as far back that you get a good stretch here in your quadricep of your back leg. Reach through the crown of the head, let your breath flow. Exhaling, extended leg stretch, sway back. Good, have the hips parallel to the short end of the mat. And feel how far you can lean forward today. We did a little, lot of walking and running the last day, so my hamstrings are tight for today, so that forward bending is just a little bit limited. So moment to moment awareness includes that you really check in what's possible today. Where is the truthful pose? Do 
beautiful. And from extended leg stretch, inhale, come forward to runner. And exhale, mountain lift, mountain. Don't drop your head, keep your chest stretching forward while your sit bones stretch back and the heels down. And then give vertebra, vertebra, your, your spine down. Exhaling, left knee comes forward, right heel pushes back, round your spine. In lengthen from the base of the spine. X, stretch back, extended mountain. Inhale. Let the breath flow with your Uchati breath. Push both hands forward. Now extend both face lines. Give the right hip back and up. Supercharge that back leg, make it straight. Push the bottom heel down. How joyful and relaxed can you be in the pose? And with your next exhalation, round your spine, lower the legs, step forward and through. Left side runner, drop the back knee, lengthen from the base. Exhaling. Blocks can go, can go back, sway back, extended leg stretch. Inhaling, come forward. You can let that spinal wave. Spine is straight to go back and then it relaxes. The spine is relaxed to come forward and then it lengthens. Next time, when you come forward, you go into runner's lift, drawing the belly button away from the thigh and then lengthening the spine. You may want to add an extra breath to so exhaling back. Inhale. From exhaling forward, place the knee over the ankle, draw the lower belly back and create distance between your belly and your thigh. Exhaling, stretch your spine forward while the hips go back and hinge forward. Ex, come forward. Place the knee, draw the belly away and feel the wave lengthening from the base to the crown. Ex, extended leg stretch. Inhale. Ex, forward. In, runners lift. Next time when you're in runner's lift, stay there. Sit deep down, tuck the tailbone forward to the short end of the mat. Your hips parallel to the short end of the mat. Front knee over the ankle, spine low, reaching up, chest broad. Beautiful, exhaling back, standing leg, leg stretch, stay there. Feel your degree of forward bending. Everybody, push the front heel down, stretch your thigh back into the hip socket and lengthen out of the lower back, open the chest. Straight back as, pos as much as possible for you. Beautiful, and from here, relax your spine. 
come forward in lengthen exhale mountain lift keep your head lifted your chest send your sit bones far back lower the heels down relax your spine beautiful push your hands forward your waist lines back Lower the heels down, stretch your sit bones up, creating space between heels and sit bones, creating length between hands and sit bones. Your next inhalation, right side swan. Exhaling, quarter turn into pyramid. I go slow. We first release the toes, then we lean to the right. Bend your back leg, relax your spine, and bring both bent legs together into half tortoise. Let's lengthen the spine here. And from here, round your spine, bring your knee up, lengthen your spine. Place your hands in front of you, and bow or jump out into pyramid. Exhaling right side for a bit swing. In back to center. Ex left side for a bit swing. In back to center. Repeat. Next time, bend your back from your left side. Next time, bend your back from pyramid. Left side, come up into pyramid lift. Check your stance that you are in the right stance for triangle. Bend your right knee, interlace the fingers. And when you bring your arms up at heart level, your heel is in lowering. At forehead level, your toes are pointing forward and at the very top, your heel is back. So when your arms are finished, your heel and your legs are finished too. Good. From here, triangle. Lower your right hand down, either left arm straight up or with the hands into the back. This hands to the back has two uh, benefits. It opens the chest here. If you're very flexible, however, make sure that you don't twist the shoulder back. It's still parallel here. And it also helps with that hand here to maybe grab that thigh and make an external rotation out. Good. From here, allow the hip to go back to the invisible wall. Feel both waistlines even long. Hip forward, shoulder back to the invisible wall, head back to the invisible wall too. Inhale here, ex Kapalapati. Maintain Kapalapati, side warrior. Finish Kapalabhati with a complete exhalation out. Inhaling triangle. X come up. Release the arm. In arms T. X bend your right knee, lower the arms down. Flowing warrior. Inhaling up. Exhaling arms over the side and down. Repeat. Now 
Next time, bring your up. Turn your head to the right. Arms, shoulders level. Make sure your shoulders are over the hips so you're not leaning forward. And stretch with both feet here. Beautiful. Exhaling side warrior. And we're gonna turn into runner. Inhale. First the head turns down. And the arm turns back. When it passes your thigh, lift your back here. And from here, step back, mount and lift. And then joyfully relax, vertebra, vertebra back into mountain. Long, deep, ucha ibra. Hold for three more deep breaths. And we repeat them on the other side. Your next inhalation, left side swan. Exhale. Stretch your toes back, toe by toe. Bend your back knee, relax your spine and pull both legs together. Lengthen your spine. Now relax your spine, when you lean a little bit back, you have more space here in the hip joint to lift the knee. Lengthen your spine, lift with your hand and feel you're hinging forward with your torso, reaching the chest forward and you can either jump from here or you go into cap and then jump. Perfect. Exhaling, left side pyramid. Bend your left knee. Inhaling back to center and ex right. Repeat. In back to center, your own breathing rhythm. Find your pace. Tune into your breath. Beautiful. Next time when you are back from your right side pyramid sway, come back into pyramid and from here we go into pyramid lift. Ground your feet, tone the pelvic floor, tone your core, bring the shoulders even flowing over your hips. Check that your distance is right for your triangle and then bend your left knee interlace the fingers. When your arms are up to the heart, your heel has turned in. Third eye, the toes have stretched forward and then the arms are on the top. You turn your heel back. Your next exhalation, triangle hips towards the right, shoulders to the left. Choose your arm position. Feel that right heel strong, pushing back and the crown of the head reaching forward. Feel your hips moving forward to the long end of the mat and your shoulder back to the invisible wall. Kapalabhati. Maintain Kapalabhati side warrior. Long exhalation out. Inhale, triangle. X, come up. When you're all the way up with the shoulders over the hips, release your arm. 
Inhale, arms deep. Expand your left knee, lower the arms down. Flowing warrior, inhaling up. X, arms over the side and down. Tune into your breath. Lifting, inhaling your arms. Allowing, exhaling the arms to relax. Next time, when you're up with your arms, turn your head to the left, arms T, look over your middle finger, make sure your shoulders are over the hips, you're pushing with both legs down, your next exhalation side warrior, hinge from your hips, lower your left forearm down, extend your right, Inhaling, quarter turn into runner. Turn your head down, into your arm back, and it passes the thigh. Lift the back heel, push the heel back. Into raised runner, and sway back, mountain lift. Relaxing into mountain. Long, deep breath. Inhaling, lengthen from the bed. Exhaling, walk or jump forward. Relax your spine, bring your arms over the side and back. Extended shoulder stretch. Remember to take a belt in case your hands can't hold together. Or you just keep your heels off the hands separate. For everybody, move your shoulders away from the ears. Allow your shoulder plates to come together as far as possible for your physique. Allow your spine to relax and maybe bend your knees a little bit more. Your next exhalation, bend your knees, tuck the tailbone and roll up vertebra by vertebra. When the shoulders are over the hips, inhaling, lift your arms over the side and up. And exhaling, flowing on release into standing asana. Place your hands next to you. Hold still for five breaths. Feel after the sequence, energy flow in your body. Feel how is your physical body feeling from the feet to the crown. How is your mind after that practice? Do you feel centered or the monkey minded. Also feel, have I connected more to the inner joy, the inner relaxation in myself? Is my breath maybe deepened or is it shallow? Not to judge any of that. 
just to tune into the different facets of our food. Then stay five more breaths without any investigation, just being. Letting the thoughts come through. And from here, you can either finish with a final relaxation. Five just lie on the back. If you have to go on with your day, you can do so too. It's a pleasure practicing with you. Love and Namaste. If you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you will be informed with all the new videos. Just feel free to subscribe. Namaste.